What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute arms and cardio AMRAP workout. This is one of those workouts where we're all just going to be able to kind of get into our zone, really rock it out at a pace that best suits you. So what we've got today is five circuits, two exercises each. In every single circuit you'll have an upper body and a cardio exercise. I'm going to challenge you to do 10 reps of the upper body, 10 reps of the cardio, as many rounds as possible in a five minute work period. Okay, so dumbbells are gonna range from anything light enough for a tricep kickback, 10 reps for five minutes, so probably somewhere around your four rounds in that five minute work period, all the way up to a shoulder movement. So for me personally, I'll be going from 10 pounds up to probably my 25 pound dumbbells. Also, if you have one, go ahead and grab your jump rope. We'll hit that in the very last circuit, but I'm super excited for you. Five big circuits, five minutes each, 30 seconds in between each one. So normally we have a 60 second rest period. Because it's a shorter workout, I wanna get more work in with you, so be ready to transition. I'll tell you what's next, and you just have those couple dumbbells out right around you, okay? Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Let's close out week one of Summertime Fine. Let's get ready for warm up. All right, let's start with backwards arm circles. Two, one, here we go. Good job, so proud of you for showing up today to close out week number one of Summertime Five. Got a quick two minute warm up here. Cross your arms over your body. And then we'll jump right into our first working set. Today, I want you to do exactly what you feel pushes you. For some of the cardio, you can go a little bit lower impact. If you want to go up a little bit, that's fine. I just want you to work hard. The only expectation is that you show up, give what you have on the day that you have, and we finish strong together. Good job. Circle back with one arm. Good, switch arms. Nice work. We've got to focus today on shoulders and triceps. Good. Take your arms right past your body and up. And as soon as we're done with one circuit, I want you to pay attention in your 30 seconds rest. I'm going to show you what's next. You'll recognize all of the strength moves. But as far as the cardio, I'll show you what's next. I'll show you a low impact option and a little bit more intense. So you can pick, just work hard. Okay. All right, let's drop that, take a little jog. If you need low impact, just give me a march. Good job, side to side, touch and touch. Good. There you go, speed that up a little more. And your first combo is gonna be an alternating shoulder press and turn. Okay, so you've got eight reps there, eight jumping jacks. All right, I'm gonna start with my 15s. Let's go in five seconds, ready? And this will be a good warm up circuit as well. Two, one, let's go. For each arm. Get done, throw them down. Eight jacks, low impact. You can just tap it out. Good. So we're gonna get quite a few rounds in here in this five minute work period. Okay, this is an endurance month, so it makes sense, right? Focus on your form, your tight core as you press and rotate. Good job, first minute done. Good job, if you start to feel like, yeah, I think I could go up a little bit. Grab those dumbbells, you've got time.
Nice work. Two minutes down. Good job, you're a minute three now. Nice work, shoulders are burning, you're doing great. Good job, you've got less than two minutes to go here. Good job. Alright. 60 seconds here. Come on. Big final push. seconds and then we'll rest for 30 and we take it down to the floor for skull crushers and mountain climbers. Finish strong, three, two, one, rest. You've got 30 seconds, grab water, take it to the floor. We've got skull crushers right here for eight. Okay, you can use one or two dumbbells. Then you flip it over, eight each leg, mountain climbers. Okay, here we go, 12 seconds. We're just gonna stay moving today, I wanna keep your heart rate up. Seven. Five minutes on the clock. Two, one, let's go. Good, when you lay your dumbbell down, just be careful, just move it out of the way. Great work. First minute is done. Let's go. And you got to make this work out your own too. So if you're feeling maybe 10 or 15 reps in the cardio between your strength, go there. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just work hard. Kill our tip. 
and a ball. So me give it to, so me give it to, so me give it to, to our girls. Five million and forty naughty shorty. Baby girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. Stand up, I'll say. Well, I'm on the way the time. Cool, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Oh, nice Lord, job. The right There's another minute down. You're on to minute three. Keep that good form focus. Good job, come on. Keep cruising. Got just over two minutes to go. Go up if you can. Go down if you need to. Good job. Breathe. Come on, come on. I know you're using your triceps on your climbers too. Keep them strong, okay? You've got 60 seconds to go. Let's crush it. Come on. Make every rep your best rep. Great work. 20 seconds to go. And then we're gonna hop up. Come on, work, work, work. 15, 14. Seven. Three, two, one. Come on up, you've got eight lateral dumbbell raises, followed by eight lateral skaters, okay, for each direction. I'm gonna use my tens for as long as I can. If I need to drop down, we've got time. We go in 15 seconds. Okay, eight raises, drop your dumbbells, eight skaters. If you need low impact, touch, touch, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Good reps over everything. Focus on the quality here. Don't shrug, keep your shoulders down. First minute done. He's 
what I like. Jumping from a roof that is almost too high. Laying on the grass, I close my eyes. Playing my guitar to my fingers and numb. Oh, I always try to let my spirit fly. Fly away. That's the only way to get that high. Great job, minute two. Done. You're on to minute three. You're doing great, come on. If you feel yourself starting to kind of like whip your dumbbells, pause for a second, slow it down. Good form over everything. You're over halfway through this one. Come on, breathe. Good job, you have just over one minute to go. Come on, make these reps really good. We go to triceps next, okay? Work hard. 60 seconds. Thirty seconds. Come on, finish strong right here, wherever you're at. Let's go. Breathe. Don't swing. Lift. Come on, come on. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Three. One more. Two. One. Great job. 30 seconds to rest. We go into tricep kickbacks. Elbows are here. You extend for eight, seven, six. Then put your dumbbells down per leg. Eight, seven, six, and then switch to the other one. This can be high or low impact. Just reaching, pulling a knee drive. Ready. Come on, we're gonna keep moving. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. That's sixteen total knee drags. Keep moving, keep pushing. 
If you start to get tired, feel free to alternate your tricep kickbacks. First minute is done. Good job, second minute is done. You're on to minute three, come on, rock it out. You doing good? Just checking in, very proud of you, come on. Two and a half minutes to go, come on. <sighs> Come on. Breathe, breathe, Got one minute to go. 60 seconds. Last 20 seconds, come on. Push, push, push to finish this one strong. We're so close to the end, guys, come on. Nine, eight, four, three, two, grab your jump rope. Rest, rest, rest. You got 30 seconds. We've got jump rope. We're gonna take it. 25 hops on the jump rope. If you don't have a rope, you're right here. 25, you're 25 high knees. Second exercise, keeping it with eight. You're going up one, two, three, okay? 10 seconds, you have five minutes of work left, and we've made it, okay? I'm gonna start with my 15, we go in two, one, five minutes on the clock, let's go.
You're over one minute in. Come on, keep moving, keep hopping, keep breathing. On these front raises, make sure you're breathing and not just swinging, okay? Lift, lower, lift, lower. You're controlling both. Good, you're over halfway home. You are officially over halfway in this one. Keep breathing. Come on, come on. Good job. 90 seconds to go, okay? You can do this. 90 seconds away from you and I finishing this workout. I know it has not been easy. I know you should be pushing your hardest right now. There's 60 seconds. You've got one minute. We are done in one minute, which means you're all out right now. Come on, push, push, push. seconds. Come on. Close it out. Put the best 10. 9. Go, go, go. 5. 3, 2, 1. Rest. You have made it to your cool down. And you officially finished week one of summertime. Fine. 65 workouts we started off with. We have 60 to go, okay? <sighs> Big deep breath. Exhale, lift your hands up overhead. We're cooling it down. And I need you to breathe here. I need you to stay here for about one more minute. <sighs> 60 workouts to go out of 65. Can you believe we've already made seven days worth of progress? Five workouts down. And the 90 days from the start of summertime fine, I want you to feel completely different about yourself in the best way possible, in what you can do, in what you see, in what you feel. <sighs> Don't forget, Fitcation here in Charlotte, July 22nd. I need you here with me working out in person, okay? Pull your fingertips back. Make your plans to be here. Mark that date off on your calendar. We're finalizing things 
as far as vendors and everything else that you're gonna get to experience that day here with me outside of the workout. So it's not just a workout, which is why it's taking a bit longer to get the tickets ready for you to purchase. They've got some record breaking statistics that we have to finalize. People that are gonna be there to give you all the best experience, things for families to do. So I promise you, it's absolutely gonna be worth the trip. It's gonna change your life in the best way possible where you can celebrate what you've done in this program or in this journey for your life in general. Switch arms. As far as right now, you might be feeling a ton of blood flow in your arms. Sweaty, out of breath. Be proud of yourself, okay? Every single workout, I'm gonna show you what we've got to do. I'm gonna try to talk you through in the beginning everything to expect. And next week, it'll switch up just a little bit from this week. And we'll build on what we've accomplished in terms of training for endurance. Hands on your hips. We'll keep cooling it down as I talk about what to expect next. This week was all about establishing your big basic movement patterns. Squat, hinge, push, pull, press, and rotation. All right, lots of core involved. Lots of strength involved, a little bit of cardio, and we'll have another body weight workout next week. So make sure you grab your workout calendar in the description so you can know all the time durations, you can know what equipment you need. Gentle push on your tailbone to close it out here. But just promise yourself throughout the next couple of days before our next workout, you won't let yourself down, okay? I know that's a lot of pressure. I know that sounds a little bit heavy, but what I'm saying is this journey is for you. It's not for anyone else and no one else is coming to take responsibility for your goals achieved. It's gonna be you. And at the same time, no one else is coming to put in work and hold themselves accountable except for you as well. So you're the one that's gonna be able to take all the credit and you're gonna get all the benefit from achieving your goals. But at the same time, you are the one that has to continuously make decisions along the way to keep the good habits in place, to celebrate the wins, to keep doing things when it's not easy, when it's more convenient to do the things that might take you off track, just think about what am I gonna feel right after I make that tough decision to eat what I've cooked or to prep the things I have in my fridge instead of getting takeout every single night, right? There's balance in everyone's life and I know you need that, but I know a lot of the times we get off track and then we just kind of let ourselves slip, which is why a lot of people might be here right now still kind of craving that big goal that they want to accomplish. I want this for you. When it's not easy, you push harder. You don't give up. You remember what you feel right after you make the good decision and you do it for that. Just like this post-workout feeling, I want you to feel this in all the areas of your life. Be proud of the choices that you are making for your goals to come to life. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment below what you thought of this workout today and I'll see you for our next one. Great job.